Yay Networks. <laughs> Hello and welcome to There I Said It. I'm Georgia Alfredes with my gorgeous cohort, Garrett with the T. We are missing a third of the show, Tamara Sheree, today. She's out, but yeah, she is she our girl. A, 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 a Ghana College Girl appointment? No. Yes, no. She actually does not. She will be back next week. Oh, okay. Uh, Y'all, we post new episodes every single Wednesday. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like. Do all the things so that we can keep coming back every single week. There is a lot. We've been gone a week because there was a there was like a holiday. Easter. Yeah. No, it wasn't Easter. What was it? Memorial. No, what was it? I don't know. Juneteenth, I think. No, no, it wasn't. We were watching. Did you go watch? Did you go watch the um the eclipse? eclipse? Did you watch I it? I the hell I would have. Why? You got special hit it, glasses. I, I had First of all, everybody up there looking in the damn sky. The eclipse. You need to be looking for Jesus. Hell, here we had a tornado in Port Arthur the next day. Honey, tore up a church around the corner from where I grew up in and everything. So, child, honey, Jesus is not happy. God ain't happy. So, honey, y'all looking up in the sky to eclipse. Hey, even though that's his work. That's right. It's the Lord's work. But you know what happened when Jesus died? My son goes to a Christian school and did not know this. I was what? like, you know, it's weird because it's Easter. It's close to Easter, and there was. An eclipse, you know, the sky went dark, mm -hmm. and there was also an earthquake, and there was an earthquake in New York a couple weeks ago. I was like, mm, maybe God trying to tell us something. That's right, honey. You never know. No, you don't. never know. So, Gary, I need to know what do you think about first Portia, now Kenya Moore? What do you think about them adding her to the Atlanta Housewives? About them doing what? Adding Kenya Moore. Oh, back. well, because she was already on there, so they just renewed her contract. Did you I think guess. that it, but I think people thought she wasn't going to get renewed and I don't know why. I, um, I knew she was going to come back, child, because I mean, they need somebody, a villain. So, you know, so they got to, even though Kenya and Portia were friends, broke up and now they said to be friends all over again. So, you know, child, hey, girl, go ahead and get a girl her check, honey. I feel like they're frenemies, though. I feel like they're like, yeah. Mm, yeah, like they, they probably, side each other. They are. They probably a frenemy thing, honey. So, but you know, I mean, uh, not just that, but now you see, it's just so much with these housewives, though, um, our friends. I mean, girl, first of all, you know, we got that situation. Then, excuse me, we have, I don't know if you heard, but honey, Fallon, which is the ex-wife to Simon, which is the ex-husband to Portia, now she's being spotted with Dennis, Portia's baby mom, baby daddy. What has, in yeah, the has, drama? Um, yeah, he has a, a liquor out. He was bourbon or one of them, too. But anyway, they were spotted together, child. But it, together it's just a, or just together, like at no, the same? Toge together, honey. Ew, so, gross. But you know, but let me tell you something, my friend. I think that's the new thing now. You know? Mm -mm, that's it's gross. Like when you break up, say for you and your husband break up. Here we go. You take your husband friend because your husband took his friend friend. So the thing is happening with Portia and Dennis, um, allegedly. Because look at, remember TJ Holmes and his wife? Yeah, they broke that was up, odd. and now Andrew Shue and his what well, ho his wife they all together. So it's a new thing. Now break up with me, and I'll take your spouse, and now we all just together again. That's just gross. What do you do with the kids? That's weird. Well, this is Uncle Joe. Okay, so I mean that's just odd. I don't like it. No, that's that yeah. doesn't fly with me. I don't well, like that's that. What's happening, you baby. don't mess with your man's man or your man's woman or your any of that. That's no. There's a yeah. million gazillion people yeah. in the world. Stay out of my circle. But if you're doing my man, I, mean, I want to know what your man was doing. So now I'm going to take him. No, thanks. That's mm, nasty. Yes, baby. And what about Robin? What about Robin Dixon? She's leaving. Yeah, she must confess they fired her. Honey. Oh. But Robin wasn't. I mean, Robin was good to me. They all, I don't give it. But she wasn't giving him enough because, honey, you know, her husband Juan was a cheater, honey. A cheater eater, pumpkin Peter. And, honey, so, you know, <laughs> but when they found pumpkin out about Peter. it, baby, Miss Robin skipped over that. So, honey, they was like, girl, no, we need to know about it, honey. So, great vengeance, honey. She sprinkled a little bit over. So, I guess they say, we sick of you, girl, so you got to go, honey. So, so, wait a minute. So, you know, I don't watch Potomac Housewives. I, I have never seen one episode. So, Juan Dixon, I do, you know, of course I know that he's known to be a cheater, but she didn't want to talk about it on the show? Nope. She didn't talk about it. You know, Miss Angie, don't play that, baby. You need Did to she talk know it was about a reality it. show? Thank you, well, honey. She knows now she at home, honey, and Juan going to be home together, but she's going to really be dealing with his ass, and he's going to be cheating on her. Mm -hmm. And she's a beautiful girl. She's so, gorgeous. But, you know, was but, she, who was Miss, one of them was Miss America. One of them on Potomac was Miss America. Or uh, Miss I don't USA. Know about America. Uh, Miss somebody. USA. That, that was, um, we know Kenya Moore was on Atlanta, but I'm talking about yeah, on Potomac. Somebody was, um, was Miss somebody. I don't know. I can't think of it. But anyway, yeah. Mm, well, okay. Well, they can keep it moving. Okay. Yeah. So that's some Housewives news. 
I know you. Have you ever been to Coachella? I have no desire to go to Coachella. Oh, hell no. A bunch of goddamn people out there concerts <laughs> in the mud and dirt and just, honey, looking like a bunch of hippies and all that other mess child. No. But it only gets mud if it, if it rains, which it is yeah. prone to do. But yeah. what I want to know is, did you see, everybody's showing this video of Justin Bieber and uh, what's Will Smith's son's name? Jaden right, uh, Smith. Jaden Smith, yeah, he was grinding on him. Well, he I mean, came you know, up behind him and grinded on him and then Bieber gave him a Big old kiss like he was a long lost yeah, love. But, that but was... that's that's love. That's the new love, Alfred. Men now are being more open by expressing themselves as opposed to when in my day, bitch, if you said you was honey like a man, you was the biggest faggot gay person on earth. But now you get to do that and everybody accepts like, oh, that is so cute. Look at them. I think people were surprised. I don't think people were like, oh, that's cute. I think people were like, wait a minute. What's mm -hmm. going on, Justin Bieber? Justin Bieber married to Bieber, married to a little uh, the B, the other little girl, uh, Hallie Bieber. Um, Hallie Bieber. Uh, yeah, but Haley, still, and yeah, that's what you do. That's what you do uh, now. Speaking of so, Haley's, Haley Bailey, no, Hallie Bailey. Yeah. She was there without her. Man. I guess she really is broken up well, with her baby daddy. Well, yeah, I guess they're done. She they looks real cute. Up. She's at Coachella looking real cute. I don't believe she went and had a baby for that bastard, honey. DDG or whatever. My thing is, first of all, he's a rapper. Who is he? Who is DDG? He's a rapper, honey. DDG? And she didn't let him. You are cute, prim, and proper. And you didn't even got pregnant by this damn thug, honey. I'm like, child, please. And now they broke up. But you don't know. They weren't going to be together that long any damn way. So, honey, you know, she got her baby young. So now she just had to move on and have some more as she get older for the next man. But, honey, he would have never... Um, you would have never, you would have never let him impregnate you. That's right, honey. I would have swallowed. Oh, I mean, <laughs> anyway. All right, but Will Smith was there too. He did Men in Black with um, Dalvin. Martin. No, who? no. With uh, who is it? Jay Dalvin? He did it with Jay Dalvin. He did Men in Black. He performed in Men in Black. Yeah. And I know you know who Keisha is, even though you're going to say, I don't know who no damn Keisha is. Yeah, I know Keisha. You know, she got the little song, woke up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. She changed uh, it to woke up in the uh, morning saying, fuck P. Diddy. Yeah, but isn't that some shit, though? It's amazing how you just changed the middle of the game because now that the boy is going through something, so now you want to change the lyrics. Oh, no. Yeah. No, no, but I think that she's kind of one of those women who I think she's been, she was treated really badly, allegedly, by her, um, either her producer, or her manager, somebody. And I think she's like, you know, I think she's a women's rights person. You know what I mean? Good like she's just all for, she's all for women's she's rights. And she's like, no. her yes, absolutely. Come on now, don't do that. Um, you see the latest news with Jeezy and Jeannie Mai. So yeah. this week, because we haven't talked in like a week. So we got to fill yeah. you all in and everything. So apparently there's a picture of the baby, their baby with a gun. And Jeezy was like, that was planted. He said that once he, he didn't move out of the house, he moved to the basement and he took a gun down there to protect himself. But he said there was no way the baby could get down there because there was a gate. There was a door, baby, baby door, baby gate, or maybe like a human door. I don't know. But he said he thinks that Jeannie Mai and her brother set it up the picture apparently this picture with their baby to look like he wasn't a good dad, like he had firearms around the baby, blah, blah, blah. I just think this is going to continue to be a very nasty divorce but and you know more so custody. He's asking for full custody mm -hmm. now, which he won't But you get. know what kills me? You know, I said this before. I don't understand it, but it's amazing how y'all is going to be so in love. Oh, we but love did we each believe other. It? But wait, did we believe it? I never believed them. Yeah, well, I never believed them. There's some people I just don't believe. Yeah, I and mean, I but never she, believed them. Well, she did so because when she left Freddie and them and then got pregnant for that Negro and loved that white man and didn't have no baby for him, it was something to it, honey. I tell you that much because she was reluctant to have the damn baby. But my thing is, it's amazing how you could be in love today, bitch, and y'all hate each other tomorrow. How did that happen? How does this happen? We loved each other so much yesterday, and now today we can't stand each other. I, I don't understand it. It's a thin I line. Know. It's a it's thin a, line. It's, it's, it's a thin line between love and hate. Between love and hate. You already know I, that. Mm, and I feel okay. like I just, I don't know. You know how what I think, and I, you know, I hate to say this because people are going to be like, ah. You know, some people like want their kids to look a certain way. Yeah. I.e. the Kardashians, except yeah. for Chloe. I yeah. think they want their babies 
to no, be you mixed mean for, children. Um, not Chloe. I mean, not uh, Chloe. Uh, Courtney. Oh, Courtney. Except Courtney said, Courtney. the hell with y'all, baby. This will not be no goddamn <laughs> black babies up in this house, honey. But not every I. last one of them, except the one who doesn't have any. Well, except the one who doesn't have any kids. Um, but yeah. all of them have... It's just so, honey. They, got to, mixed they must sit down and talk about black men all day. Because this is what, when you give it to a black guy, this is what it's going to be. He's going to probably have the girth of this and maybe the Nobody, length, I don't length think of there's, that. I don't think that they're sitting around talking about Well, you, I can't tell, damn it. No. So I can't tell because they say I, bitch don't bring them nothing. They don't want nothing white but rice. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's but, all I, they want. but I think that maybe Jeannie Mai, because she was married to, you know, yeah, she's married Freddy, to the white yeah, guy yeah. and did not, and she said she, it wasn't that she couldn't have kids. She said they she just, didn't want none She at the time. didn't want any. Now, what did Jeannie, I mean, what did Jeezy do to change her mind? Unless he blew That's up her booty with. hole or something. No. I don't know. Nope. 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 Not today. No. Mm, no, I don't, I don't think. Know. No. And that's not how you have babies. So I, I don't know that, but you know, but that tickle you though, honey, or something, honey. I don't <laughs> Gary, know. Gary, what gets into you? What gets into my Gary? The French tickler, honey. The fresh. Oh, no. Speaking. No, no, I'm not going. Now I got to. Now I got to go to another Maybe story because I don't want to go to this thicker. story. I don't know. After, but okay. So let me ask you this. I got to find another story because I don't want to go from there to this. But I'm, let, me, let me just ask you about this. You know Jennifer Garner and Ben Affleck. You see their yeah. daughter. Yeah. Her name is Serafina. She yeah. wants to be called Finn now. Yeah. And. You know, Jennifer Lopez's daughter, I think, went through her yes. little phase. She's, Isn't that interesting yes. that both of them, they're like stepsisters. Is that right? Exactly. Yeah, they're called stepsisters. I just think it's very interesting that both of them, I mean, Finn, Serafina, now Finn, got the buzz haircut. She's dressing like, you know, like a guy. You know who else is? Um, well, this, there's no correlation, no relation between them. But um, Angelina Jolie's daughter. She's although she's looking yeah. much more female now, more more um, I don't know yeah. what, what you call ladylike. I don't know. I'm so old, ladylike. She looked yeah. ladylike. Um, she's looking yeah. more feminine these days. But I just find it very interesting that Ben Affleck's daughter and also Jennifer uh, Lopez's daughter both, um, you know, are are dating. So you think they got on the phone and called each other and said, you know what, let's trick mommy and daddy and let's say we want to be boys. And just dress no, up like boys. I don't uh, think it's a trick. No, uh, mm -mm, I don't think know? it's a trick but at it, all. It's just, I think a lot of that stuff, a lot of stuff has changed tremendously since, like I said, since my day. Because now the kids could just be who they want to be. They say who they are. I mean, you got, you know, they can say, I want to be this here right now. And they wind up being that. And it has to be accepted. Because back in the day, honey, if they were, like, like I said, I'm going to beat the sissy out of you back in the day, honey. It's true. In my day, honey, you just, it was no such thing, honey. That um, you know, you was gonna be to that, and now they say they want to be a boy, and you better dress them like a boy because this is how they feel. Yeah, and this is the way it is. So these kids, you know, and then these kids are rich kids, and you know, they can do they whatever they want to Look do. at um, Dwayne Wade's um son. Look, they got her him dressing like a a woman. He's he not he a him girl. anymore. He he identifies yeah, as she. a she. So yes. you know, so this is what we say we want to be. So. I said, hell in the hell, I want to be a boy, so I'm going to start dressing like a boy now because I'm tired of this. You're going to you you gonna dress like a... You I'm going to start dressing you're gonna more... You're going to go the other way. Yeah, I'm going to start going more hoodish. I, so, but you know what? Like, now, you know, you see these fashion, you know, in these fashion houses, now everybody's androgynous. Like, you can't... Everything is androgynous. Everything, everything is male, is, female. It's not... Yep, you, unisex. You, yes. Yep, so I mean... You know, to this, like I was telling um, one of my salesperson the other day, I bought... I was buying these... I was going to buy these pants. And I loved them because they were red. You know, red is one of my favorite colors. But I did not realize they were for a woman because they were nice flat legs because the men then went back to flat legs. And when the guy told me that they were um, for a woman, I said, no way. I refused to buy it because my thing is I already got enough goddamn attention on me as it is as being, honey, who I am, alternative. So, damn it, I'm not going to try to wear women's clothes. That's one thing I've never done. I will not wear a woman's clothes. I don't give a damn how gay, straight, or whatever indifferent I am. I'm not going to wear a woman's clothes. Now, I wear something similar to it. I like stuff that tinkles to it that, you know, that's on, on the edge, but it will not be a woman's clothes. That surprises me. Because guess yep. what? I'll go in some place, and if it's a, I will, I love a nice altered man's suit. Like, that is Well, yeah, but you beautiful. can do that, though. I'm not doing it because I already, they're already looking, looking at him and just gas and not in women's cares. clothes to make it even worse. That's just like with my um, man bags, and I make sure my man bags are advertised as men bags. Cause I ain't trying to carry nothing for no woman. I ain't trying to do nothing for no, like no woman. 
that I know I'm not a woman, but I know how, who I am, you know, um, you know, um, characteristically. Okay, Gary, coming clean, being free. I love it. Speaking of being free, what about Aoki love fast ass? Who? Aoki. Aoki, Aoki. Oh, Aoki. Bitch, let Miss Aoki get fast? her goddamn money. I'm sick of people being upset with Aoki. All she was doing was dating a damn billionaire. Let her date a billionaire. She saw it with Is her mom and dad. Is he a billionaire? I don't know well, if he's a billionaire. You, he got money now. I'm a millionaire, but he got money. She doing just like her damn mama did. Her mom was screwing Russell at 18, honey. So why can't she screw him? She met him when, well, she met him when she was 17. I don't know if she was screwing him. She at met him. He was, he was like so. 35 or something. Let her get her damn money, honey. So girl, get her money when she did. <laughs> She wouldn't mess with um, Kanye West said she ain't messing with no broke wiggers. She ain't messing with no broke wouldn't either, honey. So go ahead and I'm get sorry. your man with some money. But they broke that up girl, allegedly. First off, let's 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 be clear. That girl can date any rich kid her age that she wants to. She does not have to. She is in. She is a New York society girl. She does not have to go meet no be with no sixty five year old man. And that is she's twenty one. Yeah, that, but if he gross. want her, damn it, if he want her, and she likes him, damn it, please, honey. So well, about these and these girls sick of these damn little young thugs any damn way, honey. Let her get her old man that season, honey, and all he can do is pee in her, and stop. she got about having no baby. Stop. Why does it have to be a young thug? Why can't it be a a New York socialite? Cause they don't uh, have no sense. They ass is crazy. She's roy she, she's like rap royalty, and you know, like her mom is fashion royalty. Why can't she go meet someone her age, you know, close to her age, who's also wealthy, who's also on the same social status? Doesn't have to. I just, I just, I didn't like that at all. And guess what? Her mom said she really didn't like it because she knows what happened with her and Russell Simmons. And I mean, there's just a twin. Not even is it twenty years? Yeah, there was a twenty year age gap. We're talking forty something yeah, year well, age okay. gap. Gary, you know that's not right. You don't want to see no 21-year-old, no 65-year-old. Yes, I do, honey. Would you date somebody? If he's if the bastard rich and Anna Nicole Smith, goddamn it, married yes, that damn. We know, we know. But Anna Nicole so. Smith was not Aoki Lee. She was not a from rap royalty. She was not a socialite. Her mother was not a fashion model. She this is a Anna Nicole Lee was a stripper in a in a probably a raggedy strip club in Houston or wherever she was and that's where she met him. That's a whole well, different story. Well, got her, she, he was filthy rich, honey. I mean, even though she didn't live too well afterward, but it's just sad. But we just got to pray, though. Pray. That's all we're going to do is pray about we it. We got to pray, honey. We, we got to pray. pray about it. We love, do... Everybody needs love. I want to know if y'all agree with Carrie or you agree with me and I just don't, I just think it's like gross. I mean, I'm saying I did stuff when I was young, when I was 21. I did dumb stuff because I was 21 and young okay. and hot and cute. So, you know, I was showing my little body, doing all the things because I was 21. But they well, let her like make her mistakes then. It's true. She ain't having, all no, right. she ain't having no bunch I'm of damn judgy. babies fun. You're right. You're I'm being, being like judgy. the rest of the people judging. Let this girl have her man, baby. You know what, Gary? I ain't you, mad. You are to be agreed with. Okay. I mean, very judgy. Right. And I do apologize. Okay, Sunshine. All right. What then we miss? start getting older, we start getting judgmental. I'm judgy, right? I know I was a hot mess when I was 21. Mm -hmm. Sneaking in the yeah, clubs at 19, using yeah. my sister license. Yeah, you had horish ways. I mean, you was messing I with mean, doctors and all that stuff. He was. I was a grown woman when I was messing with the doctors. So oh, okay, yes. uh, uh. I was a. Gr but you know what? I did meet him when we was in college. But we were just two years apart. So oh, okay. okay, different story. Don't be bringing up my dirt. Bring uh, up your own damn dirt. Shit, I don't have. I wish I did. <laughs> Okay, yeah. you know what? On that note, Tamara Cherie is not in today. We're done because what we talked about everything that's happened in the last two weeks. What else? What did I miss? There's no um, new stuff about Diddy, right? Yeah, Diddy, bless his soul, child. We don't know her. Diddy, I don't know, honey. I guess, child. Who cares, honey? <laughs> I don't know. Who cares, honey, child? Oh, but know. you know, just something quick though. A lot of people said, they said, honey, that Usher, honey, he's married to a white woman, but he was blasted for fake love letter to black women. Wait. That woman's white? She's not white. Yeah, his new wife is white. Oh, she She's white. not white. She white. What's her name? What her like, last name? Goddamn Goku Goche. She's a Jennifer. woman of color. She sounds like she's a woman of color. She might be Greek or what wait, wait. Tell me her. Let me see. Let me just look at Goku Goche. I'm about to Google G and see what her origin is. I'm just gonna look at the Usher's C O E new wife. Um what can I say? Miami Porter. Italian mother 
and a Puerto Rican father. Puerto Rican, ain't, so she is a person of color. So you take it back. She's a person of color, but she ain't a damn Negro. Okay, it doesn't matter. She's a person of color. She's Puerto, half Puerto Rican, as basically half black. So I get a girl. Okay, we gonna. And she's Italian, so she really is a person of color. I get it. Listen, she's a sister, kinda. Okay, I'm. A, she's Puerto Rican, so I'm a ride for the chick. Okay, well, and if Usher's some... happy with his what first second, one, two, three, how many wives is this? About three or four. Three. Yeah. So you know what? We're gonna let Usher live his life. It's a woman. I didn't mean that the way it sounded. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Cause... Some people will take that. I'm just saying. Yes, honey. It's uh... his new. Some people say. How about Usher that he's a that yeah, he gets you know, beard. Do we talk about OJ Simpson Queen? You know, um Oh my god. You know, it's sad that we lost OJ too, yeah. But honey, a lot of people pissed off, honey, with um um Caitlyn Jenner, honey. With her Talk um, about being um, judgy. Judge Caitlyn is the judgiest uh, of all. They like, bitch, how Shut you gonna up. judge OJ Simpson? Bitch, you killed the damn woman, honey, in a car wreck, but ain't nobody talking about that. See, they say, honey. Mm, they say, I know you all think it's cute to compare a fatal car accident with multiple vehicles involved to a brutal murder, but remember, OJ said something to the effect of, I could kill her, Nicole, and get away with it because I'm OJ. That's what Caitlyn said, honey. And Isn't that some shit? Guess what? Caitlyn loved Donald Trump. Guess what Donald Trump said, even though he didn't kill anybody that we know of. I mean, his wife did fall down the stairs, but it ain't none of my business. Um, yeah. He said, I could kill, I could shoot somebody in the middle of New York and because I'm Donald Trump, nothing would happen to me. And oh, you love Donald Trump. And Donald Trump said that. What's the difference? Love. I know it's just some sort um, we just gonna pray for Kayla, honey. Miss Kayla needs Kaylin to Kaylin is a mess. Kayla needs to just shut up. I she just don't like get... just be quiet. Just just be quiet. Like she I really think Kayla her... wants attention. She loves yeah, she attention need... and she doesn't yeah. get as much. Yeah, she needs to get her black man, honey, just like the rest of them. I don't think that she I don't think she I think that's not her thing. I really do. I think she's kind of a closet. Never mind. Never mind. She's yeah. out the closet, but I mean, she might be closet other in I other wonder ways. who she doing. Who doing Caitlyn? She did have a little girl she was hanging out with. Some woman she was hanging out with. Yeah, so, but sure. it's weird. It's odd. I don't, but let me ask you something. Just because maybe she doesn't really like men. You know what I mean? I think she still likes women. How you gonna like a damn woman you dress like one, looking like Miss Hagatha? <laughs> but I'm just yes, she does like her. She's a very unattractive woman. She looked way better as a man. Way she sure better did, as a man. honey. She just I'm didn't just, realize. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm gonna anyway, see what that like. I'm gonna go do it and see what it looked like. So really, anyway. you say you would never dress as a woman? No. Well, I dress up. Baby. I mean, for Halloween. fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. Stuff. But, yeah, no, you I wear a costume. Never, I can't yeah. go as no woman, honey. It's sad, I feel, but I'm gonna just leave. Mm. But anyway, that, for Halloween. I'm going to dress as you, and you should dress as me. Okay, that's not hard. What did, what did that mean? <laughs> He's going to wear a t-shirt <laughs> and some uh, ragged out jeans. That's what you're going to put yeah. some t-shirt, ragged out jeans, and, and flip-flops. And put on some um, Annie hair. Okay. I'm going to come with the bobbles, okay? <laughs> Give me some big old fake big teeth. Uh, and be like, uh, Gary so has the most gorgeous smile. Okay. Uh, all, all right, right then. Dish, well, girl, I guess <laughs> that we was so go. real. That yeah. was so real. Garrett wrote, "Damn the shade." Exa Thank you, Garrett. I'm glad somebody said. Okay, y'all, listen. Every single Wednesday, we post new episodes of There I Said It. Please join us. Join the conversation. Oh, reading. We're gonna read your um your comments next week. Okay, so make sure you comment below. Tamara Cherie will be back. Y'all know what Gary's doing. Do y'all know what Gary? If you're not. If you're, if you're listening to the podcast, and by the way, listen to the podcast wherever you get your podcast, Apple, Spotify, wherever, but also watch the podcast. You must watch the shenanigans. While Gary's talking to me, it's just like how we do when we're on the phone. He's also watching TV. Okay, this is what he does. He watches TV and and talks to me on the phone or he's ordering food while we're on the phone. Like, I'm just sitting there like, hey, yeah, okay. I just, it's like I'm just watching, like sitting there while he does chores or whatever. Don't, that's, that's what, not nice. Yeah, it's what you do. It's what you do to me. Anyway, uh, but so loved. yes, you must watch, must watch the shenanigans. Gary, do you like my t-shirt? You know how this says? Give yourself grace. Oh, you know, oh grace. grace Jones, oh my God. Ah, that yes. is so touching. Mm, you give like yourself this? grace. Yeah, yeah, I need to give myself grace. Mm. I don't know how I feel. I don't know if I fucking feel tired. I feel like, I don't know how I feel. I'm going to lay down for a little bit more. Okay, well, thanks for sharing. We will see y'all next uh, week. Bye. I'm there I said it. Bye, darling. Bye. Yay, networks.